Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher from Reading Town again. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, let's look at today's article. Today's article is a very important article because it impacts both you and me. So, the title is World Unites to Limit Greenhouse Gases. So, unite means come together as one. We join together. Limit means not allowing for too much amount of something. So, we're keeping the limit or keeping the amount lower. And greenhouse gases. So, we've heard of greenhouse gases before. What is a greenhouse? Well, first, if you've ever been to the country or been somewhere where they farm a lot, they use greenhouses. Greenhouses are like those plastic houses that trap the moisture, the water in the air, as well as heat. And gases, well, you know what gases are. Gases are the invisible uh, element that we see that rises into our air. So, greenhouse gases are the type of gases that are invisible to our eyes that get trapped under the Earth's atmosphere and do not let the heat outside of our planet. So, that means all the rays that we get from the sun, all that heat gets trapped inside of our planet, just like how it does in a greenhouse. So, gases that cause the Earth to get hotter because it's unsafe, those are the gases that world is, the world is trying to unite to limit or decrease. So let's go into an article for today. World unites to limit greenhouse gases. One of the most important problems facing our planet is global warming. So global warming is the planet getting hotter or warmer. In order to overcome this world-threatening problem, almost 200 nations reached a historic deal to limit the use of greenhouse gases. So, over 200 countries have come together to sign something, to sign a deal that promises that they will do something to lower the amount of greenhouse gases that they are contributing or they are allowing to go into, the, uh, into our atmosphere. The deal includes the US and China, the world's worst polluters. Over the past 50 years, it was believed that increased volumes of carbon dioxide that came from burning fossil fuels were mainly responsible for global warming. So, like many people for the past 50 years, they believe that the main reason why we have global warming or why the world is getting warmer is because of burning fossil fuel like gasoline. So when we drive or in the factories, all of that gas that gets burned up, we thought that that was the main reason. But let's look at what we have for today. But hydrofluorocarbons, or HFCs, which are used in air conditioners and refrigerators, also contribute greatly to global warming. So, we have a new gas that's been discovered in the past 50 years, that hydrofluorocarbons, it's a mixture of three natural elements, hydrogen, fluorine, and carbons. These are the gases that are used in air conditioners and refrigerators. Uh, electronic devices that we use to keep us cool. So especially in the summer, when everyone is turning on their air conditioners and using their refrigerators, we know that HFCs are going into our atmosphere. And these are what contributes or it joins together or it adds to uh, the global warming. So along with fossil fuels, now we have these HFCs. These recent discoveries are showing us that this is what's causing so much greenhouse gas. So from 2019 to 2028, countries will gradually phase out at HFCs, expecting to reduce global warming by 5 tenths degrees Celsius. Right? So they're gradually, gradually means slowly over time, and phase out means we're not going to use it anymore. So we're going to cut them out. And we hope that by doing so, in the next 20 to 30 years, we're hoping to reduce global warming okay, by five, uh, by half a degree, okay? Uh, the world's increasing temperature leads to many serious problems in weather patterns, rising sea levels, and harmful effects on animal species and their habitats. So habitats are the places where animals live, like the forests, or, or like in the, the Arctic zones, like the polar bears. Countries are experiencing some of the worst typhoons, hurricanes, and floods like never before. So when the world gets warmer because of these greenhouse gases, gases, it causes temperatures to rise and all these natural disasters like typhoons and hurricanes, floods to become very severe, very strong. Um, so we're experiencing some of the worst in history. Arctic sea ice is melting at a record pace. And countries like the Maldives, the flattest country on earth, may get swallowed up by the ocean. The world, the whole world, has come together to take on a serious issue that affects us all. So looking at today's article, it's a serious issue. Greenhouse gases will change the way that we live. 
Uh, so the next time you think about using your air conditioner or the refrigerator, understand that invisible to our eyes, we're giving off or emitting these gases that are harmful for our environment. So before we only believed that it was cars and a lot of laws and a lot of uh, restrictions or changes uh, have been made so that people don't drive as much. So we use the bus and other forms of transportation. But now we're gonna also have to think about ways that we can uh, reduce or replace the use of air conditioning, especially as the summers get hotter. So this is an important topic and I'm sure more science and more uh, information will come forward in this issue because we need to protect our planet. So let's go into the comprehension portion of our article for today. So beyond reading, it says for world news, after reading the article, complete the sentences below. So if you look at this picture, this is a picture that a lot of people uh, are using because the polar bears, their ice caps, the snow and the ice in the Arctic regions are all melting because of the greenhouse gases. Our world is becoming warmer and the ice is melting. And we read in our article, countries like Maldives that are very flat, they will be flooded and they will be swallowed up in the ocean, which is very, very scary. So let's look at our first question. What was a historic deal involving almost 200 nations about? So what was the deal about? So it says almost 200 nations reached a historic deal. Historic deal means it's very important in history, right? It's never happened before. It's something that we will always remember. So a historic deal agreement to limit the use of. So we said limit was to keep down the number, to limit the use of what kind of harmful product? That's right, greenhouse gases. So 200 nations came together and they want to lower the amount that we use of greenhouse gases. Which two countries pollute the most? And two of the largest countries on earth. The deal includes blank and blank, the world's worst polluters. So if you look at the word uh, and it has the suffix er, that usually means the person or someone who does. So the person or the countries that do pollute the most are the US, United States, America, and China. So these two are the greatest contributors, okay? Uh, for years, what gas was believed to be the main cause for global warming? So we talked about this. Uh, for many, many years, people believed that because we burn uh, gasoline in cars and in factories, we thought that that was the worst. So over the past 50 years, it was believed that increased volumes of something were mainly responsible for global warming. So what kind uh, of pollution that was caused uh, from burning fossil fuels, it was carbon dioxide, okay? So carbon dioxide was believed to be the main reason why we have global warming, but now we know HFCs are also a major contributor, okay? Let's finish off our article today by filling in the blanks with the appropriate word or the correct word. Uh, one of the most important problems facing our planet is, uh, we know it's pollution. Um, what kind of pollution or what kind of problem it's global warming. So global warming is caused by the gases that we burn off, uh, gases that are used in our electronic devices, uh, such as air conditioners and, and refrigerators that keep our planet uh, very, very hot. So that's global warming. But hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, which are used in air conditioners and refrigerators, also something greatly to global warming. So it's the word that we talked about. It adds on, uh, it gives along with the other things, so that means it contributes, right? So it contributes greatly uh, to global warming, so it adds on to the problem of global warming. Uh, lastly, Arctic sea ice is something at a record pace. Uh, is the sea ice dropping or is the sea ice rising? So what happens when it gets hot and the water melts? The water will rise, so it's melting at a record pace. So we know that global warming affects not only the animals like the polar bears, but it also affects you and I. So when we look at the summer, I'm kind of worried because in Korea we have so many apartments that use so many air conditioners. It's something that we're gonna have to think about again because unlike what we thought before, it's not only cars and factories that cause global warmings, but it's also these gases such as HFCs found in air conditioners and refrigerators that also add to the problem of global warming. So countries like the United States, Korea, China, uh, all these major countries are coming together to find a solution, uh, an answer 
uh, to, fi uh, to fix this problem. So I hope that you and I uh, will be people who are responsible when it comes to using these harmful gases such as HFCs, but uh, let's do our best to protect our planet. So now we know. I uh, hope you enjoyed this article. I hope you learned a lot. This is a very important lesson. I uh, hope you have a safe winter and a very, very safe summer as well. We thank you and I'll see you again next time. See you around.